Welcome to Cyber World YT. Like and subscribe if you are new here. Also follow me on Instagram for in case of any queries. Imagine being locked out of your own house. Not because you lost your keys, but because someone has blocked your door with a mountain of boxes. That's somewhat similar to a DDoS attack in the cyber world. A DDoS or Distributed Denial of Service attack is a malicious strategy used to disrupt the normal operations of a targeted server, service or network. Here's how it works. Attackers flood the target with so much internet traffic that it can't cope, causing the service to slow down dramatically or crash completely. Think of it as an overwhelming crowd suddenly rushing into a small shop, making it impossible for regular customers to enter and conduct business. This flood can originate from hundreds or even thousands of sources, which makes it incredibly difficult to prevent or stop. DDoS attacks can target anyone, from large corporations to individual gamers. Understanding these attacks is crucial because they are not just about causing temporary inconvenience. They can lead to significant financial and reputational damage. So, why should we learn about DDoS attacks? Knowing is the first step towards protecting. Now let's dissect how a DDoS attack really works. A distributed denial of service attack, or DDoS, is essentially an orchestrated attempt to make an online service unavailable by overwhelming it with traffic from multiple sources. This isn't just a flood of random data. It's a carefully coordinated assault where each piece of data plays a part in the overarching strategy of the attack. Imagine a bustling city intersection. Now envision hundreds of thousands of cars being directed towards this one intersection. Not long after, the area becomes completely congested, blocking any movement. This is similar to what happens during a DDoS attack. The target, whether it's a website, an online service or a network, gets so overwhelmed with requests that it can no longer function properly. But where does all this traffic come from? Enter botnets. A botnet is a network of computers that have been infected with malware, allowing them to be controlled remotely by an attacker. These infected devices, often referred to as zombies, are used to flood the target with requests. The scary part? The owners of these devices might not even realize their machines are part of a malicious attack. Creating a botnet starts with malware distribution. This can be achieved through phishing emails, malicious websites, or downloading infected software. Once the malware is installed, the device becomes a puppet in the hands of the attacker, who can command it to send traffic to the target. Targets are typically selected based on their impact. High-profile websites, financial institutions, and government services are common targets because disrupting these can cause significant chaos and visibility. As we've seen, the mechanics behind DDoS are complex, yet fascinating. But how does one actually initiate such an attack? With the right tools, launching a DDoS attack can be disturbingly simple. In the shadowy corners of cyber world, Kaylee Linux emerges as a beacon for those seeking to understand cybersecurity tools, including those used in DDoS attacks. Let's tread carefully as we explore the top 10 tools that make these attacks possible. First, we encounter HPing, a versatile tool initially designed for network testing, but adept at crafting custom TCP IP packets, making it a favorite for network penetration testers and attackers alike. Next, the Low Orbit Ion Cannon, or LOIC, comes into view. Infamously user-friendly, LOIC allows attackers to flood a target with internet traffic with just a few clicks. Its simplicity and effectiveness have made it a popular choice for those looking to disrupt services. Another tool, Exoic, is somewhat of a LOIC derivative, but with a twist. It claims higher efficiency in disrupting targets, offering attackers another straightforward option for overwhelming systems. GoldenEye, inspired by the classic James Bond film, specializes in the HTTP DOS attack. It exploits web server limits on open connections, holding them as long as possible and effectively pushing services offline. Slowloris, deceptively simple works its magic by holding as many connections to the target web server open for as long as possible. It sends partial requests, regularly adding more headers, but never completing the request. Pylorus can be likened to Slowloris, yet it is implemented in Python, providing a platform for testing a website's vulnerability to this form of attack. Tor's Hammer, another tool in the arsenal, is slow rate, yet it's designed to be hard to detect, making it a stealthy option for attackers. Rudy, or Are You Dead Yet, 
creates a similar effect by targeting web application forms and exploiting the post mechanism to engage the server in a long form field submission process. The T50 is often described as the fastest packet injector ever made, capable of sending a wide variety of packets per second, disrupting the target's network infrastructure quickly and effectively. Lastly, the OWASP DDoS tool, designed for research and development, provides insights into how DDoS defenses may be bypassed, offering a legitimate environment for security professionals to test and enhance DDoS mitigation techniques. These tools are powerful, and with great power comes great responsibility. The ease of access to such tools underscores the critical need for ethical considerations in the cybersecurity field. It's crucial to draw a line between knowledge and misuse. As we explore the capacities of DDoS tools, remember, their legitimate use is strictly for educational purposes and security testing within a controlled environment. These tools are designed to simulate attacks so that organizations can test their defenses and improve their resilience against real-world threats. Imagine a scenario where these tools are used responsibly. Cybersecurity professionals, in a controlled setting, employ these tools to expose vulnerabilities in an organization's network. This proactive approach is not only legal, but also ethical, enhancing the overall security posture of the digital infrastructure. However, stepping beyond these boundaries into the realm of unauthorized use transforms a tool for learning into an instrument of chaos. Launching a DDoS attack without explicit permission is illegal and can lead to significant legal consequences, including fines and imprisonment. It's a clear violation of various international cyber laws and regulations that govern the use of digital resources. The ethical implications are just as profound. Unethical use of DDoS attacks can disrupt services, cause financial losses, and erode trust in digital systems. It can affect everything from large corporations to ordinary users relying on online services for their daily activities. In conclusion, while the tools for DDoS attacks may be accessible and powerful, they must be handled with the utmost responsibility. Always ensure your actions in cyberspace are ethical and legal. The consequences of not doing so can be severe. Knowing how to attack is one part. Knowing how to defend is another. In the realm of cybersecurity, where threats loom large, safeguarding against distributed denial of service attacks or DDoS attacks is crucial. These attacks can cripple your network, disrupt your services, and cause significant financial and reputational damage. So, how can one fortify their digital fortress against such onslaughts? Firstly, understanding your network's architecture is essential. Know where your vulnerabilities might lie and how traffic flows through your network. This knowledge is the bedrock of any robust defense strategy. Next, invest in a good firewall. Modern firewalls do more than just monitor incoming and outgoing traffic. They can also detect and mitigate suspicious activities that resemble DDoS patterns. Configuring your firewall to limit the number of requests from a single source or to block traffic from known malicious IP addresses can be a game changer. Additionally, consider employing anti-DDoS services. These services specialize in detecting, absorbing and dispersing the enormous volumes of traffic that characterize DDoS attacks. They act as a buffer between your network and the traffic it receives. Whether it's a cloud-based protection service or an on-premise solution, these tools can be critical in deflecting a DDoS attack. Proper network configuration also plays a pivotal role. Implement rate limiting, challenge response tests, and captures to distinguish between legitimate users and automated bots. Regularly update your network devices with the latest security patches and firmware updates to fend off exploit-based attacks. Moreover, create a redundancy plan. Distributing your network resources across multiple locations can dilute the impact of an attack, ensuring that even if one part of your network is compromised, others can continue to function. Lastly, engage in regular stress testing of your network. Simulate DDoS scenarios to see how your infrastructure holds up. This practice not only tests your defense mechanisms, but also prepares your response teams to act swiftly and efficiently in the event of a real attack. Being prepared is half the battle, Protect your network like you protect your home. As we wrap up, remember that the digital world is our shared space. Today, we ventured into the complex terrain of distributed denial of service or DDoS attacks. We uncovered the mechanics behind these formidable cyber threats, 
how they capitalize on the power of botnets to inundate systems with overwhelming traffic, aiming to disrupt and disable. We also illuminated the tools that make such attacks possible. From the low-orbit ion cannon to more sophisticated mechanisms embedded within Kali Linux, these tools, while powerful, bear a significant responsibility. It's crucial to emphasize that these tools are intended for educational purposes and should be utilized with the utmost ethical consideration. Cybersecurity isn't just about protecting systems but also about upholding moral principles. Engaging in or endorsing DDoS attacks not only violates legal boundaries but also compromises the integrity of our digital ecosystem. Each of us holds the key to fostering a secure and respectful online world. Thus, as we navigate through the vast cyberspace, let's commit to ethical behavior. Let's ensure our actions contribute positively, respecting both the law and our fellow netizens. Cybersecurity is a shared responsibility. Each precaution, each informed decision adds up to a stronger, safer digital community. Stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay ethical. Thank you for joining us today on Cyberworld YT. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more cybersecurity insights.